If you constantly feel insecure, whether your specific person loves you and cares for you, well, in this video, I'll show you exactly what you need to do to manifest them so that they can start showing their love and affection, even if you feel bad and if it feels impossible for you. So my friend, if you stay with me in, until the end, you'll get this understanding and it will be much easier for you to feel secure within yourself because you already know that your specific person is yours. So here is the biggest problem that basically most people face when they start, when they want to manifest their specific person. Most people become too attached to how things should appear in the outer world so that they can feel secure within themselves that they deserve their specific person. So if you, if you have found yourself that you're constantly expecting a text from them, you always want them to like feel good and spend time with you and you always wa want them to show their love and care and affection and to constantly be there for you so that you can feel safe, it's like you become dependent on them. And this is not safe for you. It's also not safe for them. And it's like most people have this idea that I feel safe and secure and fulfilled only when my specific person pays attention to me and shows me their love. And so here is how this looks. And we need to transition from this idea to the idea that I feel safe, secure and fulfilled within myself because I know I can love and care for my specific person even when they don't text me and show me their love all the time. Because think about it, if you are already in the relationship you want with your specific person, if you already experienced exactly what you desired with them, then you would naturally feel safe in that relationship. And that safety and security wouldn't be attached to a certain behavior that you expect of them. It would be an inner quality that you possess. And now we have to remember Neville Goddard's sayings and Neville Goddard's teachings. The feeling is the secret. So if you find yourself feeling bad and if you find it impossible to manifest your specific person and, and, he never, and they never pay you attention, enough attention, they never show you enough of their love, well, all that this means is that you need to shift your perspective of what feeling safe and secure means for you so that it, so that this feeling is not dependent on any expectations you have from of your specific person. So in a way, you need to get that feeling out of the expectations you have put on them unconsciously and you need to get it back inside of yourself so that you can start feeling safe and secure within your own body, no matter how circumstances look like in the outer world. So, and how, how does that happen specifically? Well, here is, here's what you need to do. Anytime you find yourself feeling, um, feeling bad, feeling negative, feeling sad because you expect your specific person to act in a certain way, and you want them to text you and you start becoming anxious and insecure and you start becoming too needy. Anytime you find yourself in such a state, now remember, the feeling is the secret. So if you stay within that state for extended periods of time, you will only manifest your specific person running away from you. So here's what you need to do. When you find yourself in that state of anxiety, of neediness, of insecurity, all you need to do is to remind yourself that a feeling is an internal experience, which means that I can allow myself to experience the feeling of security, of confidence, of safety, of fulfillment, even though it doesn't show up in the outer circumstances in life. So it's like, ask yourself the question, do I only limit my safety and security to uh, me experiencing a certain behavior from my specific person? Or is it possible for me to feel safe and secure within my own body just because I can and just because I know and just because I want to generate this space of uh, safety and security and stability for my specific person so that 
when they come into that space, they will already feel accepted the way they are. And I wouldn't have to change them and I wouldn't have to change myself. Um, and they wouldn't have to pretend to be somebody else because I already feel safe and secure within my own body the way I am. And this, these feelings, they radiate out of me to create this space in which my specific person would naturally be attracted to me. So, so yeah, it's like you always need to remember that when you feel anxious and insecure, you can actually, it's like, you can polarize yourself to start feeling secure and safe within your own body, no matter how the circumstances would look like. And how, like how to do that again? It's like anytime you found yourself, you find yourself in that state and you become too expecting of your specific person for them to text you and to show their love and so on and so forth. It's like, ignore all of that, get within yourself and start asking this question. Why do I feel that way? Why do I feel anxious? Why do I feel insecure? Why do I feel bad? Is it because I am afraid that my specific person doesn't love me and doesn't want to pay attention to me? Is it because um, I need them so that they can be fulfilled? And like by asking yourself these questions, you naturally find your attention being more focused to your body. So you start feeling like the sensations in your body and you'll be able to release them. Because again, anytime you feel bad, anytime you feel insecure, anytime you feel anxious, your intention is to transition from that state to the state of feeling secure, safe, and uh, fulfilled within your own body. Because from that state, you will find your specific person naturally being attracted to you. And the best way you can find yourself in that state is to question the feelings why they're here like what are they um what do you believe about yourself to be to, to be to have those feelings and you'll find yourself that again it's like when you start questioning yourself you'll find this idea i feel safe secure and fulfilled only when my specific person pays attention to me and shows me their love so and then you ask yourself is this really the case if awareness is the only reality and like if um, if I need to be aware of any state that I experience, is it true? Is it ultimately true that I can only feel safe and secure when my specific person texts me and shows their love and so on and so forth? Or is it possible that I can feel safe and secure within myself just because I make a decision to do so? And just because I know that um, I am already in a healthy relationship with my specific person. And this healthy relationship, it is based on the feelings of safety and security, which I can radiate from myself, whatever the circumstances are and whatever the behavior of my specific person is. Because again, if you're able to maintain this state, the feeling is the secret. And if you are in this state of safety and security, this will be the same state that you would be in when you are already in a healthy relationship with your specific person. So again, my friend, when you find yourself in a state that feels bad and you, you feel it's like it's impossible to manifest your specific person, the only thing that you need to remember and the only transition that you need to make is that you can feel safe, secure and fulfilled within yourself just because you are. And just because you know you can love your specific person whatever their behavior is you love them because of who they are not because of uh, not because you need something specific from them so this is the main takeaway from this video and i hope you found it useful let me know if this is the case and uh, like it comment down below let me know if you found find this process easy this process to let go of your attachment to expectations and to allow yourself to experience the feelings you want from within, not expecting something on, on the outside to shift so that you can feel safe and secure uh, within yourself. So let me know if this is understandable and if you can practice it, or if it is not, ask questions down in the comments because <coughs> by, by me reading those questions, I can then create more specific content for you that will help you, um, that will help you like be more confident within yourself that you already have your specific person and you already have the relationship you want with them the way you want it. 
This was everything I wanted to share. Like, comment below, subscribe to this channel if you're new to it, because all the content that I will be posting on this channel will help you to um, attract only meaningful, conscious, and uplifting relationships and to have only these kind of relationships with all the people in your life, not only a romantic partner, but with all the people in your life. So if this is important for you, again, subscribe to this channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now and have a great day.